Hello, this is Craig. Um, I've been thinking about this diving game. Diving games are very atmospheric, but they have the problem of uh, they aren't, uh, they don't have much gameplay. They're generally just, you know, you visit the bottom of the ocean and look around. I wanted to have some gameplay in mind, so I've been thinking about ways to let you basically map out and and fix up the bottom of the ocean. Think of it as kind of a, a rather vast version of the interior decorating you can do in The Sims. So I built these relay objects, and a relay object is simply uh, that, that glowing beacon there, but it connects to other glowing beacons uh, in line of sight. So I'm going to go ahead and hide one so, you, so they can't see each other. And you can see that they don't connect. But if I put another one over here, like that, then they connect. And this establishes a route. Um, and a very clear one that you can see as well, and you could have, you know, fish or divers or whatever uh, on this beacon route. And in this way, you can basically create um, a map, a node map of this world and how you want people to navigate around it. Uh, and uh, and I think that would be pretty interesting. I think there's a lot of chance for that to be interesting. Add into this that there can be deactivated old nodes, just floating around somewhere mapping the path to uh, ancient treasures and uh, and if you find them then you can reactivate them but they're gonna be hard to find because without that glowing light on top um, it's just a tiny metal pole in the vastness of the ocean yep I got a couple of other ideas as to how to do gameplay for these diving games but uh, Overall, I think that there's actually quite a lot of potential in a diving game. They are uh, much more immersive than most of the games that are running around these days.